Bleachers are used to comfortably view sporting events, graduations, parades, and many other activities. The purpose of this video is to highlight certain guidelines to help make sure your bleachers are as safe as possible. Falls from bleachers typically occur when guardrails are missing from the back or sides of bleachers, but can also ensue when there are openings between seating and footboards that are big enough to allow a person through. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, or CPSC, has developed guidelines to prevent these falls. Many bleachers and facilities today pose a fall hazard, especially to children, due to the fact that these bleachers may have been built and installed when the building codes did not require guardrails and allowed openings that were big enough for a child to fit through. To prevent falls, it is recommended that guardrails and openings meet the following recommendations. One, a bleacher should have a guardrail along the back and surrounding the open ends where the drop is more than 30 inches to the ground below. Two, the guardrail should be at least 42 inches high and if using a vertical picket guardrail, all openings should be small enough that a four inch sphere cannot fit through. Three, if chain link fencing is used, it is recommended to use chain link that has a 1.25 inch or less mesh to discourage kids from climbing. And four, where visibility would not be significantly impaired, use solid materials to block openings. If retrofitting, rather than replacing your existing set of bleachers, is more feasible for your budget, the current condition and structure of your bleachers will determine the materials and methods needed for the retrofit. It is imperative to ensure that the methods and materials used do not introduce the possibility of new hazards such as bleacher tip over, bleacher collapse, guardrail collapse, and contact or tripping hazards. Where practical, features such as aisles, handrails, and surfacing should be incorporated into any retrofit project. Consult with a licensed professional or qualified bleacher firm to learn more about what is important in aiding people to move safely about on bleachers. Rigid materials such as aluminum should be used to close any openings between the seating and footboards. Chain link or fencing material can introduce potential trip hazards, allow debris to collect under the seats that is not easy to remove, and encourage children to play or hang on it. Park and Pool and the CPSC recommend that you consult with your local building officials to determine whether a permit is required to make any retrofit changes to your existing bleachers. Whether you choose to retrofit your current bleachers or order replacement ones, they should be carefully inspected at least once a quarter to identify any damage to the structure or disrepair that could result in injury or death. A licensed professional engineer, registered architect, or qualified company should inspect your bleachers at least every two years to ensure they are fit for use. No one's safety is worth taking a risk by leaving outdated bleachers in place. For more information on purchasing a new set of bleachers or the guidelines of bleacher safety, please call one of our account managers at 877-777-3700, visit us at www.parkandpool.com, or you can go to our bleacher section where you can download our free Guide to Bleacher Safety.